Okay, so here's my setup for testing uh, the PIR sensors here, uh, the motion sensors from SparkFun. You have the two different brains. They're all both about $10. Uh, this one has serial out, and you can configure it all sorts of things. I'm using it right now in analog mode with sensitivity turned all the way up and the minimum delay. This guy doesn't do anything special. Main difference, this guy runs off of 12 volts, this guy's 3.3 volts. I was able to modify this one to run off of 5 volts uh, without a problem, and I'll, I'll write about that. Uh, anyway, I have them hooked up to the scope here. The smaller sensor is the blue. The larger sensor here is the yellow. And you can see, uh, you can see them working here. They both are active low so right now as you notice there's no motion so they're both high and I'm gonna let it settle down as soon as I put my hand in front of it they both toggle there so I'm gonna make a quick demo uh, different scenarios to see which one reacts faster how it reacts and all that anyway that's uh, that's the plan All right, so uh, this is going to be the test of the PIR sensors. Here's the live demo of them working. Uh, the sensors are over there. And the first test, I'm just going to walk across about five to six feet away from the sensor uh, and then see who catches it first. Uh, the blue line is the EPIR sensor. And then the yellow one's the bigger, I forget, just regular PIR. Uh, so I'm just going to walk across. Okay. Now I'm just going to let them settle in real quick. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but walking the other way. Um, that way you can say, well, one sensor was further to the left. You might have seen me faster. Uh, let's see the other way around. So just walking by. Okay, uh, there we go. Now I'm going to do one just going forward. So I am about uh, 9, 10 feet away, directly in front of the sensors. I'm going to let them settle. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to walk forward um, and see who sees me first. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, just walk backwards. So I'm gonna let them get used to me here. And just let it settle out. All right, so now I'm just gonna walk backwards. Oh, wow, that's about the same time. Uh, another test is just um, standing here. All right, and I'm just gonna turn Oh, this time one of them was faster. Okay. Let them settle in. Other way. So, up close, they're pretty close. I mean, about the same speed. The actual, the, the big one's faster. But for further away, I mean, I'm going to come at an angle now. So. All right, settled in. If I just come in at an angle. Oh, oh, the other guy was already, yeah, it saw me way ahead. Okay. All right, coming in at an angle. Yeah, that guy sees me really fast. Okay, since I'm sure some of you are thinking this, what can you do to, uh, I guess trick these guys. So, uh, I think I saw this in Mythbusters. Make sure they're not seeing anything right now. I'm just gonna walk by really slowly. I think one of them saw me. 
try again. All right, let's see the forward one. Just going to sneak by. No, they still haven't seen me. All right. Ta da! <laughs> cool. So, I guess overall, I mean, one thing you will notice, main difference is the bigger sensor, the yellow, just goes nuts up and down. The lower one has a delay that's programmable from two seconds to 15 minutes. After it's triggered, it'll hold that uh, state for that delay. So if you want something that's very quick, you probably shouldn't be using PIR sensors anyway, but the smaller the EPIR sensor is a lot less uh, noisy, if you will, where the, the other one, like if I'm standing in front of it and moving around, one just says, yeah, you're moving. The other one's, you're moving, you're not moving. So that's, uh, one of the main differences. A lot less wires for that one, but whatever. So yeah, you'll see I'll move, and then I stop moving, and it holds for a little bit. And you can program that. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, so I don't know what else to test. I guess I could go under and over. Um, let's try this.